Minister and President of President the Biden United visiting States. NATO's newest member, Finland, talked about the military alliance's unwavering support for Ukraine in its defense against Russia. Our allies and partners around the world understand that this fight is not only a fight for the future of Ukraine, it's about sovereignty, security, and freedom itself. The president is meeting Thursday with Nordic leaders, including the prime minister of Sweden, which is also in the process of joining NATO. It just makes the world safer. It significantly increases the prospect that there is less likely to be war. This week, President Biden and allies made clear that Ukraine has a pathway to NATO membership once the war is over. No one can join NATO while a war, a war is going on, where a NATO nation is being attacked because that guarantees that we're in a war, and we're in a third world war. In the meantime, the U.S. has promised a long-term security commitment. Ukraine's president emphasized the continued need. You have to know that you spend this money for, for not, not just for fighting. You spend this money for our lives. This comes as the U.S. House has begun debating a defense authorization bill with some far-right Republicans wanting to cut spending on Ukraine. But that amendment is not expected to pass. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.